Saludos, I'm the Spanish chef, former rally boy from Tapas Revolution, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a pan fried fillet of hake with clams and stewed artichokes in a panceta, smoked bacon, hazelnuts, and saffron sauce. I know it sounds a little bit more restauranty and it's a bit more elaborate, but you will see that I'm using simple and accessible ingredients. And once I run you through the steps, you will see that it's very uncomplicated. And definitely it's a very delicate and fine dish if you need to impress someone that it's inspired by Spain. It's not a traditional Spanish dish, but it's one of those which are inspired by the seasons we are around. So these are dishes that you can find in March, April, May. But without further ado, let me run you through the ingredients. We're going to need hazelnuts, chive, saffron, flour, smoked panceta, sweet smoked paprika, some fish stock, it can be made out of stock cubes as well, salt and pepper, some beautiful loins of hake, a good extra virgin olive oil, some white wine, some pular clams or any clams, artichokes, Spanish onion and garlic. Let's start by placing a small saucepan over low heat, pour your fish stock and add your saffron. Bring it to the boil and set it aside. This will allow a little bit of time for the fish stock to infuse with the flavor and the beautiful color of the saffron. Now, start peeling the outer leaves of the artichokes until the heart starts showing. Cut the top of the flower as well as the bottom of the stock and with the help of a paring knife, start sort of peeling the outer layer of the, those leaves which are a little bit tough as well as peeling the stalk. Now cut it into six pieces each or eight pieces depending on the size and discard the choke that is that hair looking thing that it's right at the heart of the flower which is not edible and will ruin your dinner if you add it. Place them in a bowl with some cold water and a little bit of lemon so that they don't oxidize until you need them later on. Now peel your onion and finely chop it. Thinly slice your garlic and let's start with the cooking. Place a frying pan over medium heat, pour some extra virgin olive oil and add your drained artichokes. Cook them for about five minutes and add your smoked panceta and your finely chopped onion and hazelnuts. Cook them for another five minutes at medium heat until the onion softens, the hazelnuts toast and the panceta releases a lot of the fat and plenty of the flavor. Add your finely chopped garlic, give it a good stir, fry it for another couple of minutes, add a little bit of flour, as you can see it's only a pinch, together with your paprika to let that flour toast that will thicken up the sauce later on and exactly the same for the paprika will give a beautiful yellow color and plenty of flavor. Add your white wine which you will see that it starts thickening up straight away and add half of the hot fish stock infused with the saffron. Give it a vigorous stir again just to form a bit of a roux and a bit of a velvety sauce that will start sort of stewing the artichokes and then just pour the remaining parts. So do it in two batches. Again, just give it a good stir. So you make sure that your sauce is nice and velvety and has a lovely texture as opposed to a split sauce. And set it aside before we add our clams, which will only take three minutes to cook. And it's going to take a little longer to cook the fillets of hake, which is what we're going to be doing now. Season them with a little bit of salt and pepper, place a frying pan over high heat and drizzle a bit of extra virgin olive oil and pan fried the fillets of hake skin side down for about five minutes and finish it off in the other side for just one or until it's ready. While your fish is halfway through the cooking process, you can finish your garnish and your sauce. So add the clams into the pan, bring up the heat, they should take about two to three minutes to cook. Season with a bit of salt and pepper. Finely chop a little bit of chive. Add it into the pan. That will give a bit of freshness, really nice color and a fantastic chive flavor, which is a bit garlicky. 
Timing is really important in this recipe so that your fish is cooked to perfection, your artichokes too, and the clams don't overcook. Familia, something a little different, a bit finer than the usual, less traditional, but equally good. I hope you give it a try and that you enjoy it. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends. And remember, if you're looking for more recipes, ingredients, my books, or anything you need in Spanish, please go to my website, thespanishchef.com. Hasta la próxima. Adios. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it, and subscribe.